Late summer on a talus slope in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. Seemingly inhospitable without much food or water on its surface, it will soon become even more extreme when winter arrives and the whole area is buried under snow. Despite these harsh environmental conditions, this is the habitat of one of the cutest mammals in the world, the American pika. It is a lagomorph, not a rodent, essentially being a short-eared rabbit. They have dens inside the scree using natural hollows in the rock. Pika are herbivores, gnawing on various grasses, sedges, and wildflowers that poke through in parts of the loose rock or along its margins. They seem to get almost all of the water they need from eating vegetation, overcoming that particular challenge of this habitat. Unlike some of the rodents that sometimes share this rocky domain, pikas don't hibernate, which means they need to store food for the coming winter. They make hay piles, collecting vegetation all summer, creating a big stack of plant material. Trying to store vegetation for winter, though, has some complications. Bacteria and fungi could start to grow and devastate the pika's food stores. The pika fortunately have a solution. Take advantage of plant biochemistry. Plants are under constant assault, not just from the herbivores that are constantly trying to eat them, but also from fungal and bacterial infections. To combat this, some plants produce secondary metabolites, toxins, to protect themselves. One such toxin are fennel-containing compounds. Fennels are employed by various plants to combat fungus and bacteria. The pika have learned to co-opt this biochemistry of alpine fennel-rich plants for their own purposes. While the pika itself cannot stand large amounts of these toxins, over time these fennels will break down in dead plant material. This is great news for the pika, as the fennel-containing plants in the hay pile will not start to decompose because of the fennels, but then become edible later in the winter, giving them a food source later in the season. This knowledge of biochemistry is critical for the survival of pika in this harsh ecosystem, allowing this non-migratory and non-hibernating mammal to thrive. Unfortunately, pika are now threatened by changes in global temperatures. Unable to cope with temperatures above 25.5 degrees Celsius or 78 degrees Fahrenheit for more than a few hours. This means that as the planet warms, the future of these cute mountain biochemists is uncertain. I hope they can persist. <laughs>